Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I posted anything on this channel. I've been working full time um, building custom guitars. If you guys want to see more of that stuff, definitely check out. I'll put a link down below. But um, I was over there on my router table sucking up sawdust and I noticed when I cleaned it out, um, a piece of dirt fell out and I was like, what the heck is that stuff? And I quickly realized that this stuff is very likely from when I filmed the Diamonds and Golden, the New York City sidewalk crack video back in November. So I scraped it all out of there and I got a good amount. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of throwing this away, we're gonna go ahead and pan this stuff out, see if there's any gold or diamonds or anything in it. So let's go ahead and take it over to the panning station. We'll take a look at it and see what we get. And as you can see, we have some sawdust in there. We've also got these little bricks of sidewalk scudge, complete with hair and everything. So let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do, so because we have these little bricks, they need to be broken up. And we have some sawdust in here from my wood shop. So if we add some water, we'll bring over Krusty Rusty. And I'll add some water and some jet dry to break the surface tension of the water. Now, if we add water to this, you'll see it kind of turn into mud and all the wood should flow to the top. Maybe the wood won't float because of the jet dry. All right, I'm gonna bust these up by hand, get everything worked together here. All right, it's pretty much just a disgusting soup right now. So we're just gonna stratify this for a second just to make sure that all of the metals and heavies are going down to the bottom, which means we can start washing this off. That's all gold panning really is, just washing rocks. Keeping the heavies at the bottom of the pan, allowing the light material to float off the top. All right, we still didn't break it up good enough. I'll go ahead and continue working on that. All right, we got this mostly ground up. We want to pan off all of the muddy material and leave behind. So right now we're getting down to kind of like lighter colored gravels. And all that stuff does contain gold. If you guys have not watched the New York City video, I will link it right here so you know exactly what I'm panning out here. But it's basically just um, dirt from between the sidewalk cracks in the Diamond District of New York City. Okay, we're down to a point where I don't want to pan anything else off into Krusty Rusty here, but we do want to change the water out much better. All right, so let's pan this stuff down and see exactly what was trapped in those little mud bricks inside my vacuum. If anything, I'm sure there's going to be. This stuff is super concentrated. So as the water pulls the material down, I'm keeping my eyes out for any little gemstones or anything like that. I can see a lot of metallic material, which we did determine in the previous video is mostly gold. And right there is actually, that's a little chain link, a gold chain link. So in these jars contain some of the things I found other than gold um, in the sidewalk cracks in New York City. And I would say the most valuable thing we find is the gold. And when I refine this stuff down into a nice little nugget, uh, that's always a good thing. It's always interesting finding this stuff. It never fails to surprise me the amount of cool stuff you can find in the sidewalk cracks in a diamond district. And this process will work for any diamond district, as long as it's legal. I don't know about in your country, but in the United States, it's totally legal to be cleaning the sidewalks. That's actually quite a bit. That's more than I expected from that little bit. So I don't have an exact percentage, but I do know that this is mostly gold. Um, and if you want to see me refining this same material, again, check out that New York City video. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the channel, how it's going. Get a lot of comments, where, where am I? Well, I'm doing full-time custom guitars and I'm still gonna be doing prospecting stuff. And if you wanna check out what I'm doing every day, the Clutch Guitars channel down below. There will be more gold prospecting videos coming up soon. I'm going to Europe, 
Czech Republic, Slovakia, Switzerland, Poland, all over the place. And uh, it'll, it'll be pretty awesome. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.